Okay, we're going to find the absolute max and also the absolute min for this function on this interval. Here we go. Find the derivative first, f prime of x. We need to use the product rule because this is this times that. Keep the first function, x to the negative 2, and we multiply by the derivative of second. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x. And then we continue, we add the second function, which is ln x, and we multiply by the derivative of the first. Derivative of x to the negative 2, we bring the power to the front, so we have negative 2, and then minus 1 to the power, so we have negative 3. Okay, that's what we have. This right here, it's actually the same as x to the negative 3 as well. So we can actually put them together, but that's ready in the fraction form. So this has x to the negative 3, likewise that. I will put them down on the bottom, so that's just x to the third power. And from here, we have 1. And then from here, we have minus, and then 2, and then also the ln x. So that's what we have. Now, we want to get the critical number, and the first case is that we set this to be 0, and to make that happen, we just need to worry about the top, 1 minus 2 ln x to be 0. Bring the 1 to the other side and divide negative 2 on both sides, we get ln x has to be 1 over 2. And then to get the x by itself, to get rid of the ln, we have to do e to the power, e to the power, cancel, cancel. So we get x being at e to the one half power, and that's the same as square root of e. And this is, in fact, the only critical number. Because if we want to set the denominator to be zero, we can solve it. This right here is just x equal to zero. But the thing is that zero is not in the domain of the original function. So we don't consider this. I will just tell you not in the domain of f. All right, so this is not a CN. One well, another way to look at it is, of course, zero is not on this interval, so you do not consider that. But even though we did not have the interval here, zero is not considered a critical number. All right. So now we are just going to do the usual business, which is just a plug-in, plug-in, all right? So here we go. f of square root of e. Well, let's write it as e to the one-half power. Uh, e to the one-half power for now. That is going to be, parentheses, put this back to the original. So e to the one-half power raised to the negative two times ln of e to the one-half power. All right, multiply the powers. One half times negative two is negative one. So this is e to the negative one times this and that cancel. So we have one half. All together, we can put this on the bottom. So we have one over two e. Pretty cool number, I will say. Okay, and then get the other things right here as well. F and then plugging one half. So we get one half and then raised to the negative two times ln of one half. Hmm, what do we do? First, we can put the negative and make that into a, a reciprocal, so it's a two. Two to the second power, this right here, will give you four, all right? Or you can just look at this as two to the negative two on the bottom and bring that up, which is four. And then ln of one half, this right here is actually negative. You can Look at this number as negative ln 2. Why? Because you can look at this as ln of 2 to the negative 1 power, and then you can put the power in the front, but don't minus 1. We're not doing derivative here. This is just a log property. So that's why this is the same as negative ln 2. And in fact, this is a negative number. Just keep that in mind. And then lastly, f of 4. So putting 4 into there, so 4 to the negative 2 power times ln 4. Okay, so this right here will be 1 over 16. And then on the top we have ln 4. So ln 4 over 16. And you can see that this is going to be smaller than that. But I will give you guys the decimal approximation though. 1 over 2e 
is approximately this let me see is approximately 0 0.18 yeah which is pretty small I would say 0 0.18 all right and then this right here it's negative but I will still give you guys the approximation anyway this is approximately 2.77 negative though and then this right here is approximately 0 0.0 866 so 87 something like that so of course this right here will actually be the biggest and then this right here is the smallest so absolute max is that and then just to make it fancy a little bit let me write this as square root of e pretty cool huh square root of e and then that will give us 1 over 2e and uh, for the absolute minimum is that which is f at one half and i will write it down like this negative 4 ln 2 right and you can put parentheses here but if it's just one thing inside of the ln you don't have to this is mm, okay as well so this right here is it all right